Okay, I warned y'all I was going to be back today uh, for a review of this book, Blood Red Road by Mara Young. Yes. Alright, so as I said in my first video, I read this book during finals week, which was a very bad decision on my part because I was distracted greatly distracted for about, I don't know, how long did it take me to read this book? It took me like three hours at, at max to read the book, and it's, it's pretty thick, a little thick. But one of the things that really surprised me about Blood Red Road was the writing style, and I'm just going to read the... Where is it? Okay, I found it. Lou got born first. On midwinter day, when the sun hangs low in the sky, then me, two hours later. That pretty much says it all. Lou goes first, always first, and I follow on behind. And that's fine. That's right. That's how it's meant to be. Because everything's set. It's all fixed. The lives of everybody who's ever been born. The lives of everybody still waiting to be born. It was all set in the stars the moment the world began. The time of your birthing, the time of your death, even what kind of person you're going to be, good or bad. If you know how to read the stars, you can read the story of people's lives, the story of your own life, what's gone, what's now, and what's still to come. So, instead of saying and, she says and without the D. And my inner grammar person was going, Oh my gosh, look at all this. There's so many missing G's and words that end in ING pulling. And instead of and, it's and and think and other stuff. It just, it made me go, Oh! But, uh, as the book progressed and I kept reading, I got used to it. I came to like it. It's. I had to do this the first time I read Forrest Gump. I was like, oh my gosh, Winston Groom. You just had to write it colloquially, didn't you? So that's basically what Blood Red Road is written like Saba Speaks. Yep. Anyway, basically the whole plot is Saba and her brother Lou are twins. Lou gets taken, and Sable's got to find him. She has to go get him, because she can't live without him, apparently. Sable goes out into the world of, or outside of Silver Lake, which is where she was born, and the, so the world itself is different from other dystopians. Um, it's post, I want to say it's post-apocalyptal. I don't really know what happened, other than the fact that Saba and all the other characters say that they're wreckers, which were people like us who have technology. They ruined the world, and all that's left is wrecker junk, which they salvage to build houses or trade. Yeah. And, um, the entire plot of the book revolves around, um, Chal, which is a drug. Which, um, the king uses to control people, and there's there's a fight scene. There's lots of fight scenes, actually, but the fight scene, you know, like, like, gladiator. Like, the arena. There's an arena where people fight. Saba becomes a fighter. Ooh, spoiler. Sorry. Spoiler alert. Saba becomes a fighter. I did it again. Uh... I'm going to have to make a notification that there's spoilers in here. Anyway, the book is really interesting. It was different. Did not end the way I thought it was going to. So, I don't want to spoil that for y'all. Um, I recommend it. It's not the best book I've read all year. Sorry. Mara, Miss Young, if you read this. Wait, you won't be reading this. 
you'll be watching it. If you watch it, I'm really sorry, but it wasn't the best book I've read all year. It's really good. I give it that. It's really good. And it has a place on my bookshelf. Until next time, go read a book. <laughs>